Hey, Shalom, Yasha Allah. Um, you might be wondering to yourself, man, what this dude starts this video for all smiley face and uh, and cheesy and happy about, man. First of all, I'm happy because Yahweh Shai is my savior. And he put me together with him. And what Yahweh have put together, let no man put asunder. That's the first reason I'm happy. All right. Second of all, I'm happy because I realized that I'm the chosen of the Most High. That the black people, Hispanic, Latino people that arrived in slavery and that were in North, Central, South America and the Caribbean as the indigenous peoples, I realized that these people are the chosen of the most high and I'm one of those people on both sides. Okay. Third thing is that I was able to return to the covenant of the most high, which is obeying his laws, commandments, and statutes. On top of all of that, it really, really struck me with like a deep sense of joy and happiness. And I want to share with you what popped into my spirit just now. The fact that our people, in spite of the arguments, in spite of the division, in spite of the negativity, that our people are waking up and we are returning to the covenant of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai. And that's good news because the more of us to wake up, the greater and the faster our deliverance from these captivities that we in. Um, so we're in a good time right now. There is going to be a Torah explosion. Now I'm saying this to you. Mark my words. I'm saying this to you on the 18th of March, the 18th of April, which is the, um, uh, we're in the third day going into the fourth day, 15, 16, 17, it ain't quite sunset yet. We're in the third day of the second month going into the fourth day of the year 2000 and 18, so-called April 18, 2018, okay? So now mark my words, I'm gonna say it again. There's gonna be a Torah explosion, which means there's gonna be a resurgence, a revival, if you will, of Hebrew Israelites that are going to fully and wholeheartedly return to their old ways of their fathers that were given to them in the Holy Bible. Mark my words. And it's going to happen pretty soon. And the line is being drawn in the sand right now between those of us that want to talk and not do and those of us that want to, want to, want to teach and do the commandments of the Most High. Line is being drawn as we speak right now. Now, some of you may get left behind. Some of you may come along for the ride also. But there's going to be a Torah explosion. Now, what do you mean by Torah explosion? What I mean is that we are going to return to the laws of our fathers with no excuses. We are going to return to Yahweh Shai as the Messiah and as the Savior of the 12 tribes of Israel. It's going to happen. Prepare yourself. Get your paperwork in order. All right. Get your, um, your classes in order because the explosion of Torah is coming real soon. 
the explosion of the Torah is right around the corner. Okay. It's right around the corner. And when this toy explosion happens, there's going to be a big difference between who say they are the children of Israel and who actually is the children of Israel. It's going to be a big difference between those that are Israel, Yasha Allah, and those that are of Yasha Allah. A big difference. Okay? So we have to be on the lookout because Satan goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may, he may devour, right? So as the children of Yahshua Allah, we have to really, really understand what this thing is about. What it is about is allowing the Holy Spirit to guide you into a better understanding, to guide you into the desire to keep his laws, commandments, and statutes. Hallelujah. So now you have to determine and decide in your own spirit that you are going to obey the laws, commandments, and statutes of Yahweh with no compromise, with no excuses. This is coming exactly out of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and Hosea chapter 1. And the mandate given to us, of course, in Psalms, I'm sorry, in Zephaniah 2 and 1, and that we see in Psalms chapter 133. But the Torah explosion is going to happen. We are going to see brothers and sisters stand up for the Torah. That's not going to stand for the spiritual bullying anymore. That's not going to be listening to people on the sidelines making comments that are trying to live a holy life. You see, you have forgotten that being a Hebrew Israelite means that you're supposed to be living a holy lifestyle. And a holy lifestyle is not on the fence. A holy lifestyle is not about compromise. You see? See, we and my family in New York, they were a part of the holiness movement. Whether you want to talk about apostolic or Pentecostal, they were part of the holiness movement. So I know a little bit about holiness when it comes to the Gentile so-called Christian aspect of it. But we talking about a level of holiness that 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 surpasses man's understanding and man's efforts. We're talking about level of holiness in your daily walk, your daily talk. The scripture says, be ye therefore holy as your father in heaven is holy. The scripture says, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, for thou art, see, when we talk about Deuteronomy 7 and 6, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Oh, we chosen. But the scripture, Deuteronomy 7 and 6 says, for thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy power. So if we are holy unto Yahweh, our lifestyle, our dress, our food, our words, our talk, our education, our drive, our responses and reactions, our thoughts are supposed to be what? Holy, pure, without fault. And that is going to be the mindset that a lot of brothers and sisters are going to start to develop. Mark my words. We have because we have to return to the Torah in order to be delivered from the captivities that we're in. Simple, but highly overlooked verse in the Bible. Can you do me a favor real quick and read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30, 
verses uh, one through three. Just real quick. Do you want uh, chapter 30 real quick, verses one through three? I'll read that kind of loud. I want to ex explain it as you're reading it real quick. And it shall come to pass. This is a future prophecy. That's why I can speak so confidently about what I'm saying, because it's a prophecy that nobody's really looking at and teaching about. But it's going to happen. Read. When all these things are come upon me, uh -huh. the blessing and the curse. So when the curses came upon us of being brought in slavery and captivity from Deuteronomy capítulo 28 or Deuteronomy chapter 28, the blessings came upon us we were in the land of Israel and the curses is what caused us to get conquered and kicked out of the land of Israel. From Daniel chapter 9, verse 10 and 11. Okay, read. Which I have set before thee. So, so the Most High set up blessings and a curse before us. Go ahead. Which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations. With so them. among all the people where we've been scattered to, we got to call these curses and remember the curses and the blessings. Go ahead. Whether Yahweh Allah has driven thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt return unto Yahweh Allah and shall obey his voice. Return it to him, meaning return to the Torah. Return to the commandments of the Most High. Return to the word of Yahweh. Read. Thou shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. We're going to obey him in everything in the Torah, including believing in Yahweh, Shah, the Messiah, without compromise. Read. Thou and thy children, with all thy heart, with all thy soul. The children and the parents. Read. That then Yahweh Allah will turn thy captivity. He will do what? Turn thy captivity. He will turn your captivity. He will bring you from the places where you are in captivity at right now. Read. And have compassion upon thee. And he will have compassion upon us. He's going to have compassion upon us in the places where we were led slaves. The places where we came into captivity. Read. And will return and gather thee from all the nations, whither Yahweh Lahayaka has scattered thee. So he says he's going to return and gather us from all of the nations where Yahweh has scattered us. But what has to happen first, Aki and Aki, brothers and sisters, what has to happen first? You must return to the to the laws, commandments, and statutes of Yahweh, and you must make Yahweh and Yahweh Shai the center of your life. You must give up your own ways, give up your own plans, and you must put your life as a life to lead and as a life to, to, to live in the service of your power, Yahweh, by Shem HaMashiach, Yahweh Shah. So that's about 12 minutes. I want to share that with you. So you, Shalom to come. So you have to come back to obey the Torah. The Tawada of Yahweh. That is the only way we're going to be taken from the captivity that we were put in. Any other way is not a way. The Bible is outlining for us how to come back to him and what we need to do. No matter what you think about me or the next man or about America or Russia or about Germany, what you have to do is quit playing games quit messing around you have to become serious enough about your god about your covenant that you will do anything to keep it and to obey the rules that the most high gave us hallelujah and that's the explosion that's going to happen next that's the explosion now, I'm telling you right now, in the name of Yahweh, Basham Hamashiach Yahweh Shai is going to come upon our people. As a prophecy that I'm telling to you, based on the scriptures that we just read in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, it said, It shall come to pass, and Yahweh shall turn our captivity. It was no maybe, no much, or anything. He said, He will do this. So therefore, we are going to expect what the Father told us he had to do. We can't walk by faith. 
if we don't believe. And once we believe, we walk by faith, not by sight. I don't care how much division. I don't care how much disagreement. I don't care how much fornication, how much adultery, how much truth breaking, how much of the works of the flesh, how much sedition, wrath, variance. I don't care how much opposition. How should Tom think he's going to throw at us, you and I, the children of Israel, I guarantee you, in the name of Yahweh, by Shem HaMashiach Yahweh Shai, that we will be victorious if we endure to the end. We shall be saved. And that is all you got to do. Step up your game. Be more obedient to the laws and the commandments of Yahweh. Dress the way you're supposed to dress. Eat the way you're supposed to be eating. All right? Read the way you're supposed to be reading. Celebrate what you're supposed to be celebrating. Refrain from what you're supposed to be refraining from. And once we do all of these things, the Most High says that he will return and gather from all of the places where we've been scattered. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom, leave you on that note, and hopefully I can come back later and give you some more insight. Okay. This is Pat Paraza coming to you and from Mexico with Zaquan Shapat Nathaniala. Okay. Bringing you this message of the Torah explosion. Be ready for it. Be a part of it. If you're not a part of it, not ready for it, you're going to get left behind. You won't like it. So the Torah explosion, the love of the Most High, taking over your whole body, exploding in you to love him with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might beyond the level of your control that's when you're walking in the spirit now that's when you're walking in the spirit of yahweh by sham hamashiach yahweh shah area sham ayudando a traer el el agua fueron para el agua so the explosion it starts within you so the obedience to the most high the covenant and the commandment is what you have to strive for. The Torah explosion is waiting. It's going to happen. Be a part of it before it's too late. Now, turn around and give your heart to Yahweh Hamashiach. Repent of your sins. Say that you're sorry for the sin that you committed against Yahweh. Return and obey the commandments of Yahweh. Turn away from the evil that we've been doing. And do the right thing. And once we repent, now we're on a path to salvation. If we remain obedient. And once we learn and walk to be obedient, we learn power as ourself through the sacrifice of Yahweh Hamashiach and obey the covenant and the laws that he gave to who? To the children of Yashala, which are the blacks, Hispanics, and the, in the Negroes, the Hispanics, and the Indians in North, Central, South America, and the Caribbean. We obey those laws that he gave us as the children of Yashala. Now after this, we have to understand the fact that we are now living in the last days. Judgment is right around the corner. And before this judgment happens, we will have a Torah explosion. Guaranteed. In the name of Yahweh, by Shem, Hamashat, Yahweh, So you have to determine and decide in your own mind that you're going to put aside the petty differences. And you're going to look to your brother, look to your sister and say, hey, we need to obey Yahweh without compromising in all that he said. And that's why we say when we read 
All that Yahweh has said, will we do and hear? That's where we need to be at. Let's solve all the problems that we have in Yasha Allah. Hallelujah. This is your brother, Parazar, once again. And I'm about to sign off. And I'll talk to you again real soon. Hallelujah. Shalom.